Hi, folks. This is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report. You know, in another report, we talked about how Wheat House Bay is becoming, oh, my goodness, there's shanties all over out there because it's a wonderful fishery area. But there's also been some great ice fishing in the Grass River before it enters into the St. Lawrence and Messina. And some of the guys that, uh, that I know that are fishing there regular, they're catching an awful lot of fish. And we usually associate the best fishing right up where the river enters the St. Lawrence. But as you come back upstream in the Grass River towards Messina, it's amazing how many fish are in there right now. And one of the fishermen I talked to, <laughs> they caught... I think they said over 30 walleyes in the day that they were out there and they were fishing quite a ways upstream from from where we would expect and they were catching these fish near the power lines. But what they told me is most all the fish were smaller. They were below the legal limit size. And so, yeah, we've got a great number of fish that move into these places. Another place like that is Brandy Brook. Brandy Brook is you're coming back towards Waddington. That's always a favorite place to go, but it also serves almost like a nursery. We hear certain places that are the nursery because they're full of big numbers of smaller fish. But also remember, big fish know those small fish are there, and big fish feed on small fish. So even though you may be catching a number of smaller ones, there's always going to be some big walleyes and big northern pike in the same area. So the Grass River is a fabulous place. One, one of the things that's happening right now is a lot of the, 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 the emphasis on pan fishing is sort of shifting a bit. Now that the river conditions are getting better, the ice conditions are getting more stable, and people are able to go after those great walleye areas. And I got to tell you, a lot of walleyes are being caught right now. We have, you know, I don't know if you're all aware of it, But the state record walleye was caught right in the waters near Ogdensburg. A massive, massive fish. And, you know, we think of 10-pounders as being big, and they are. They raise eyebrows and get heartbeats flowing in other parts of the, not only the state, but in other parts of the country. People want to come and catch a 10-pound walleye. Well, how about an 18-pound walleye? The St. Lawrence has that, (laughs) that was caught near Ogdensburg. Fish of this size are fish of legends. And that's what people are going out now on the ice and trying to, you know, there's always, we know that there's monsters there. There's always a chance of catching one. And this is a time when everybody has more of a chance. You don't have to be a master fisherman with a big boat and graphs and so forth to be able to find those fish in 60 feet of water or 50 feet of water in the summertime. You can catch them right now through the ice. And some of the areas I'm telling you about, in Wheat House Bay, we've talked about the bay in Ogdensburg. Those fish move in and out of there. And while I reported on another report that uh, a number of northern pike were being caught in Wheat House Bay, I mean, really big numbers, there's also walleye being taken. Walleye of 9 and 10 pounds were caught just yesterday before I did this report. So I got to tell you, we've got some fabulous ice fishing right now. And I've only given you places in the St. Lawrence River. The, the ice fishing on Black Lake has improved tremendously because the ice has got thicker and people can get out and they can spread out and they can go to their favorite places. And while I'm not highlighting Black Lake this week, it's always one of our favorite places in the North Country to go. Until next time, folks, this is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report.